Okay, in this lesson, we're going to finish the pressure plate, and we will then be uploading it into our canvas. So uh, I need to clean this up a bit. Um, let's go, and, and, and this is what I really should have done from the beginning. The dimensions here, I can uh, go from 0, 0.00 to none, um, and that'll, that'll do everything automatically for us. I have to add a couple dimensions in here, and I'll dimension it from the, the detail view where I have more space. So just need to know the height of these objects. So I'll go ahead and select the bottom and the top. And I'm just going to go through this rather quickly here. And then I need to space this out for you guys. So just smart dimension, bottom. Uh, you just kind of make sure that it's there. 37, I can move uh, the dimensions where I need the lines just by dragging it. The numbers, so the 7, I might want to move that over. Um, and then we'll do the radius here in a moment. And so let's see, what else do we have here? Um, all right, so let's uh, let's see if I can get some spacing here. So what it's asking now is you're going to do an override, text override, and it's basically saying six times. So this happens six times. So what you do is you type in 6x before the um, um, the automatic the dimensions there and so you can do override like that we don't want to override everything unless we key it in and you don't really want to key in dimensions because if you change the part it does not change with it so whenever you can just uh, keep the dimensions you never really want to do a text override on the dimensions because uh, parts change and then somebody may have, else may have the drawing and and um, they will change the part, but the dimension will be uh, listed the same, and you can get yourself into trouble that way. So uh, here we go. We'll do this again, 6x. All right. And so looks pretty good here. And you can go in and clean this up. Uh, I'm, I'm going very quickly here. So this is saying that it's a through hole. So that's what that's all about. And let's just grab this and move it over. So I'm zooming out with my mouse. Okay, I got lots of real estate here. I don't know why I'm so smushed over here. It is 8 half by 11 though, but that's okay. All right, so that looks fairly good. We'll clean it up in a minute. All right, couple things here. Uh, you'll notice that we, we want to put our name on here. So go up to the text and note, and you're going to type in your name. Not my name, but your name. All right, and, and you'll see that you can change the font size. And so I'll continue. Um, I've got, and now the other thing I need to do is put my the title in here. So. Um, this is the pressure plate, so we'll go and we'll type in pressure plate. You do want to make sure, even though it does it on the bottom, where it says my first part, that's how I save the file, uh, you, you want to make sure that you're telling your clients or your instructor what lesson you're working on. All right, so I can change the font, make it larger. And come on here. So I should just be able to double click on here, but we can just do each word at a time if we have to. I can make this bigger. And you notice that there's there's drawings that says uh, drawn by. This is really uh, quite often people are inspecting it. Goes to different departments, so you would do drawn by, and somebody in engineering would would check it. And so there's a lot of steps along the way. Okay, so you want to save this. Uh, I've gone pretty quickly now. What you want to do when you turn this is, and you want to say print. You're going to print this as a PDF file. Okay, so. Um, current sheet and say OK. And so you're not going to be obviously putting it to a printer and scanning it. You're going to print it as a PDF file. I'm going to put this in my desktop. And so I'll, I'll type, uh, label this pressure plate. And I'll say OK. And then you want to preview it. Um, let's see, I'll have to go. Okay, there it is. OK, so this is what it looks like. So it looks OK. I can see a bunch of lines that need to be cleaned up, but that's OK for now. 
And then uh, what I want to show you now is how to submit your assignment within uh, DVC's Canvas. So let's go on and get into Canvas, and then you're going to see a uh, pressure plate. And so what we want to do is select it. Now, I, I'm here in my teacher mode, so I need to change this real quick. Uh, let's change this to, to student. So you're going to see submit assignment. Now, I want you to submit three of these. You're going to submit the PDF, which is what I'm going to grade. And then you can also select the other th other two files. And I'm going to show you why. So uh, I'm going to grade the PDF file, but go ahead and choose the uh, the part. And then the last thing you want to choose is the drawing. If you don't have the part, your drawing will show nothing. So you're going to submit three uh, three parts. And so the the nice thing is obviously I get to see it. But if you go um, to your account, and here we are, I'm in a uh, student, so I see it's all submitted. Um, and let's leave this view. But you should see on yours on the icon files. You can use this as a uh, um, as a drive in the cloud, but if you select, you should see, I've got a lot of classes here. If you select your class, which is the product design SOLIDWORKS, you should see your files uh, submitted if you go in there. So there's all, all of mine over time, but you should see within your class over there all the submissions. So that way you can access them. If you lose them, they're available if your car, your, your, your computer goes down and I also have access to them, okay? So make sure that you've uploaded the uh, pressure plate, the PDF, the, the part drawing, and the part and then the drawing, and you've completed the exercise.